everybody. CW here. I got another rifle to share. This one here is a favorite. This one here is kind of special. This one here was also my grandfather's. This is a Winchester Model 43 chambered in 218B. Now, it's special for a couple reasons. Number one, it is a special model. It's a 43 Special, or some people call it 43 Deluxe. There was a couple of different versions of this gun in a number of different calibers. Um, this was produced by Winchester 1948 to 1953, and they actually sold them up until the late 50s, 57 or so. They were just using up um, the stock that they had, um, remaining stock that they had built. But they, they stopped producing and building them in 1953. This model here, near as I can figure, is about a 51 or 52 model. So this is pretty late production. A um, couple of reasons I know that, aside from the serial number. Um, 1950, they went to a square bolt, a square shoulder here on the rear receiver ring this being the front ring this being the rear ring and it's square on the earlier ones it was scalloped just tapered um some of them weren't drilled and tapped some of them were trapped to the factory um also around 1950 they went from a straight bolt to a swept bolt tipped back um this is the deluxe or the special model it got the checkering it got the grip cap with the Winchester name in it and they all had these steel butt plates um, I don't know if it was upgraded wood or not this is not overly special wood uh, it's walnut and it's nice for today's standards but it's not it's really not special in any way it does have the correct magazine um, these came in, most common calibers are Hornet and B, but they were also available in 25, 20, and 32, 20, um, pretty low production numbers on both of those. They're, they're pretty good shooters. They had pretty good barrels. A lot of people talked about these having the small diameter barrels that were somewhat, somewhat happening around the time. But that's not the case with the 43. Um, this is not, was not Winchester's first foray into the Hornet or the B. And uh, they had been making barrels in 224 for quite a long time before this gun was produced. So this is a 224 barrel. Um, also, sights are removed the rear. This has a nice old steel Weaver K6. K6E steel scope in period weaver rings. Uh, does have a duplex reticle, so I don't believe, I believe the scope is newer than the rifle. In, uh, it, it of course is newer, it's a one inch tube, so this is probably a 70s, maybe it goes into the 60s. There's different caps, you can tell the ages in these but I'm not as up on the scopes as I am the rifles. And uh, this one's a really good shooter. Uh, my grandfather had two of these. He gave this one to my father, who, for whatever reason, gave it back to him. I don't know the story. Never did hear it. But he had a Hornet standard model and the, the B in special or deluxe. Really nice, really nice rifles. Um, you don't find the ammo very much anymore. If you never saw it, I'll show you what the cartridge looks like. It's the same case as the 2520 and the 3220. So it's a little bit bigger around in diameter than the Hornet. A little bigger rim on it. Uh, sloping tapered shoulder and, of course, 224 diameter bullet. Ballistically, it's a little bit, little bit faster than the Hornet. A um, little better ballistics, a little better. It's about the same range, really. It shoots the same 46 grain bullets from the factory. That's the way they made them. 
there was a couple different versions. There was a high speed and a, and a regular high velocity. And there probably was a couple different bullets back in the day. But for many years now, all you can get is the 46 grain. Um, finding them today is a little bit harder and it's super expensive. These were actually just brass, unprimed cases that, uh, that I loaded a long time ago. There isn't even a label on here as to my load or what I did. So I know this is old, 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 even for, for me, because I've been labeling um, loads for <laughs> decades. And this one doesn't have them. So I, uh, I loaded this one a long time ago. Um, maybe we'll get it out to the range. Something that you guys want to see, you may comments down below. And just let me know and uh, we'll take it out to the range. Um, I've had it out a few times and it is a is a good shooter for being so old. Again, 19, I'm going to say 52 based on a serial number. Serial number is, is 52,000 range. Now, it's, it's really hard to find data on the dates of these. And I believe the deluxes specials got a different serial number range i believe that i don't know that um and that is because i did a lot of reading on this years ago and i was just reading before the video just to, to tune my to tune my brain cells up and uh i read of a lot of forty thousand range guns that were um 51 50 51 and a number in the 60,000 range that are 53, 52. So total production was 50, uh, 60,000 something, 64,000, something like that. Um, total, all, all calibers. So I don't know, maybe they did all have the same serial number range, but th that would put this closer to 53, which it could be, but I'm, I don't know. I, I don't exactly know, and I can't find a chart specifically for the 43 or one that lists any difference with the Deluxe's um, specials. But, uh, again, all walnut. Uh, inexpensive rifle for the time. Um, drilled and tapped for peep sights. You can see the, see the holes in the back there. Um, some were not drilled and tapped for scopes. Some were, like I said already. Um, this came with iron sights. It's got a slot in the back, taking out the the rear sight, and uh, just a really just a really nice really nice rifle. Magazine's pretty simple, stamp steel. They go for a premium when you find them. There we go. Just a nice old rifle. Figured I'd share it with you. Those who have a uh, affection for the old Winchesters probably really like to see this one. It's a, just a it's it's a really nice one. You just don't see them anymore. So there it is. My Winchester Special 1943 in 218B. There we go. All right. God bless everybody. GW out.